morning, Brent Abel with you, Web Tennis. And, you know, recently on our What's the Right Shots double series, we've been watching four of the uh, uh, the United States' top guys in the 60s uh, at a match from a couple of years ago. And what we're to do here, and, and those guys are all, you know, 5-0 rated uh, players, um, despite their age group, what we're to do here is we're to step down uh, one skill level to four or five. Uh, we're staying in the same age group, guys in their 60s. But um, I, I want to show you a, a specific point here that I see a lot of. And this is uh, four guys, uh, good friends of mine from the Berkeley Tennis Club. We've got Steve and Gil. Uh, Carlos is serving and Mike. And these are all good four or five players uh, who uh, I see play a lot at the Berkeley Tennis Club. And they came out to see me uh, for a coaching se session one day where we did a lot of videotaping. And so what's following here is uh, my uh, analysis of this point that we're just about to watch uh, that I did for them. And at the end of this video, what I want to uh, have you do is, uh, is, is give me your feedback. So uh, here comes that video. Hey guys, it is Brent, and this is the first situation I really want to make sure that we get cleaned up, and that's when we are returning serve. And uh, in this point right here, what we're going to see is Steve really hits the ideal. We can see the ball landing right there. Maybe in the video you, you, you can't see it, but it's really close to the service line. You know, the opposite place would be over here. It's close to the service line. It's sort of in this corner. And uh, we've got Mike still back behind the service line. And so, you know, if I'm playing with Steve, and, you, you know, if, if this is me, I'm really hoping this is the return I get because I'm going to be all over. I'm going to be right where this shadow is. And as Carlos is coming in, not only if I just stand there, he's going to see that position, which is going to really close down all of this area right here in the middle. Um, but as it is right now, th there's just a, 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 a huge vacuum, a vortex, just going to be sucking balls here in the middle, uh, Mike, because of where you're standing. And, you know, this is exactly what happens here. Um, in fact, Mike, you start covering the line. You know, I don't mind if you cover the line, but I want you, uh, I want you up in here to cover the line, which makes Carlos' shot so much tougher. And whether or not this is intended from Carlos or not, it ends up in the middle, and there's just no way to defend that. And so I'm not picking on Mike so much here uh, in terms of all of us. I want us thinking that, um, you know, when we get a partner who comes over here and simply gets it cross court and gets it down low to the server's feet, I mean, Mike, you can already tell that, that, that Gil's not going to make a play on this. You ought to be just absolutely just crashing the boards up here. And whether you not, you, you, poach is is not the issue here the issue is that you, because you're standing here you now really make this shot so much tougher for for the server uh, because they realize that they've really got to be you know really really sharp making sure that this ball gets back over here to the server you know the other thing you can do is, is that you can get up here early enough so that you can show a fake poach you know right as Carlos is trying to play it and you can invite up the line. That's fine. If you show the fake poach early enough and invite that up the line, well, as you can see here, I mean, you just got the lower 40 to be able to hit into. So thing number one I want us working on is making sure that when our partner is receiving serve, that not only, uh, if this is a first serve, you want to stand in the line, that's fine. I don't recall if this was a first or a second serve. Uh, if it's a second serve, I want you inside the line, trusting that your partner is going to be able to handle this serve and be able to get it to be able to get it cross court. Um, you know, I'm just looking at this, just to sort of pick this out. I really like what what Gil does here in terms of of getting over there early and anything. He, he's not going to poach, but at least he's pinching off the middle. So any ball here in the middle is going to get pinched off. Um, he can easily back away uh, if Steve does what he does here, which is hit a great, great return to serve. But um, 
Mike and for the rest of us, when this ball is 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 going cross court, we we we've just got to be up here. We have to be up here. We got to look for balls that we can pick off. And you know, if this guy gets fortunate enough to you know find some open space over here, that's fine. We'll take our chances. But this is not where we want to be when we get our partner hitting that great, that, uh, that great cross court and down low return to serve, all right? So this is something easy to work on. Um, you know, if you think that your volley, you know, you've got to be faster with, with the reflexes, you don't. Um, and by being here just, just because uh, Gill's up here and Steve's return might go to Gill doesn't mean that you can defend that shot any better from here than you can up here. So... Um, Let's clean this up. 